Okay, so I'm at the train station and uh, here's the security checkpoint. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> so I'm here at the Suzhou train station and uh, here's an another translation thing. Uh, the Chinese roughly translates to uh, automatically sensing elevator, but uh, the translation's <laughs> induction elevator. Alright, after being sick for two days, uh, getting our trip to uh, Anhui delayed, uh, we're finally on the train to there. And uh, we're just leaving Suzhou right now. This is a train a little bit slower than the high-speed rail. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I am still a bit sick right now. Um, Capturing some more video footage on the train. The guy sitting next to me was shaving. That's where that sound came from. Uh, this is Wuxi. Uh, a lot of top. Uh, there goes the razor again. <laughs> All right, we're passing over uh, Changjiang or the Yangtze River. Uh, well, I suspect it's a Yangtze River anyways. <laughs> Lots of wheels, I bet. We have to switch a train in between, uh, traveling to Tongchen here in Anhui, and uh, this is the old style type trains here. Okay, some rural shots here in Anhui, uh, old buildings. The train happened to be stopped, uh, waiting probably for another train to pass. So. There were some music playing in the background, so I have to voice over this area and mute the soundtrack. So uh, the train was uh, very late. It's one of these uh, slow-moving trains. So uh, I'm finally in Tongchen here in Anhui, uh, heading to my relative's house on my dad's side. And uh, let me just show you the rural train station here. This is for you, Arvin. There's a lot of these. Uh, I forgot what they're called here, but. Uh Alright, so here in Tongchen, I'm getting some uh, video footage of the rural area here. Countryside driving, driving in the shoulder of the road. Many of the cars here are stick shift, um, not commonly seen in the US. Asian driving, right? <laughs> Auto rickshaws, Arvin, you said that uh, it seems that they use these a lot in the rural areas here in China. Driving on the wrong side of traffic. <laughs> um, driving in the shoulder. Anyway. 
one. So apparently the GPS system is here warn you whenever there's a red light cameras. Um, they also tell you when there is a school zones. When you're speeding, oh, these GPS systems also tell real. you where the surveillance cameras are. Uh, here in China, instead of the police speed traps, they actually have uh, speeding cameras and uh, if you're driving on the wrong side of traffic. So the GPS systems also warn you about uh, those cameras too. So in the city called Sapu, uh, here in the uh, uh, province, Driving along an old uh, dirt road here in the Anhui province. Another car just passed us on this road. It was uh, incredibly hard. And it's too dusty outside, I'm going to close the window. Very hard to drive on because the road is so narrow. Here's the old houses here. There are some uh, farm-raised chickens here in the rural area. Hey, just showing you guys, even uh, in this rural area here in China, the smog cover is uh, very dense over here. Okay, so now I'm in uh, the farm area now, uh, in the Anhui province. We've uh, came to my great-grandfather's grave site, which is uh, now farmland here. All the Wu families are buried here. Uh, it's right now covered by cotton, which has grown here. Yes, these are cotton plants. Here's the farmland, still very smoggy. Let me get a close-up of cotton for you guys. This is cotton, open. Alright, I can't focus that close. giant cotton fields here. So ancient Chinese traditions is to burn some paper money when you're visiting uh, your, your ancestors grave sites. So we're doing that right now. It's also uh, customary for firecrackers, so... Hello. So now I'm just walking around the rural area here. I just visited the remains of my uh, grandpa's great grandpa's home which was just a small uh, mud wall very old here in the rural areas these right here are outhouses and the 
the mud uh, sheds that I think it's used for storage. I guess they store hay or something in here. Not too sure. What they do with owl bricks. 